often start with a plain film first, but that's because when the patient arrives, no label is on his forehead as to what he actually has. So, and many symptoms in abdominal diseases are similar, but uh, often a plain film is immediately followed by a CT. And yet, so the answer is yes. The definitive test in that situation is probably. What information you, you get from a plain? Well, you can see, you can see that the intestinal loops are dilated, that no gas is present, distal to the point of stricture, so that you can't. You can see collapse of the colon and all the structures you'd expect to see, and you see accumulation of fluid and air behind the obstruction. Uh, so it, it confirms your impression that yes, there is an obstruction present. Today, what uh, imaging techniques are used to, to evaluate the, the obstruction? Almost always CT. Almost always. Why? Always. Well, first of all, it can define the point of obstruction pretty well. Um, it shows you the anatomy, so you can see the narrowing. It'll show you whether the stricture is due to a mass or whether there's no mass at all and it's due to an adhesion. Um, and more importantly, I think it tells the surgeon information about whether he needs to operate right away or not. 